Hey guys, so in my previous video I mentioned that I was going to be doing some vegetarian and vegan products in my new videos just to sort of like get a taste of what veganism is about. I'm normally vegetarian but for August I've chosen to go vegan. I also go vegan in November and January and February because November is World Vegan Month. So for August I just chose to go vegan because you know veganism is good for the environment and for obviously the animals so I decided to make some vegan brownies they're really good and I absolutely love them and I will, you'll see in the video what products I use and yeah I hope you enjoy it and see you in a sec ingredients wise I use sunflower oil, Himalayan pink salt, cocoa powder, plain flour and I also used some sugar you will also need a mug, uh, two wooden spoons, a saucepan and a mixing bowl, also a teaspoon for your utensils. Okay, so before you actually start mixing, make sure you line a baking tray with greaseproof paper and set the oven to preheat 250 degrees. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to get half a mug or a cup of plain flour and we're going to add that to the saucepan and we're going to add water to it and we're going to heat that. Okay so now add the water. I used tap water but I filtered it and then you're just going to add that to the saucepan that you put the flour in and try not to spill any like I did and then just put the saucepan on low heat make sure it's quite low because you don't want it heating up too quickly then get one of the wooden spoons or whatever spoon you want to use I prefer wooden spoons and then just begin to slowly stir it and you should stir it until it's a gooey sort of texture I guess um, you'll see at the end what it should look like okay so around here you sort of get the gooey texture that you need um, I know it looks kind of gross okay so now the flour and water gloopy stuff is all done so you need to leave that to cool down and then you can begin mixing your ingredients okay so mixing for the ready it's time to add your sugar I lined the bottom of the mug with caster sugar because I had some left but the rest is just plain white sugar. Probably won't do your teeth good but the end result is really nice. And you need about a cup or a mug full of white sugar. So once you have your cup of white sugar go ahead and pop it in the mixing bowl. Okay, now go ahead and get your salt, and it has to be a teaspoon. I use Himalayan pink salt because I find it healthier. Okay, so now grab your cocoa. I use the Born Fill one because I really like the rich taste that it gives, and also it's vegan and fair trade. So go ahead and get about half a cup of cocoa. and add it to the mixture. Okay, now go ahead and get your oil. I use sunflower oil and it needs to be about half a cup, three quarters of a cup, but half a cup is better. And then go ahead and add it to the mixture. Okay, so now you have all of your ingredients, you can get to the fun part, which is obviously the stirring. Make sure you mix all of the ingredients in together, and the result consistency that I got was kind of an oily, crumbly, sort of grainy consistency. Um, that's fine for now, because you still need to add in the gooey mixture, which should soften up a little bit. Okay, so once it's all mixed together, you can now sieve a cup and a half of plain flour. 
I did the cup first because I couldn't fit the cup and the half into the sieve. And then just sieve it so that you don't get a lumpy consistency and also when you sieve it, it rises a bit better. So you get fluffier brownies. Okay, so now add the half cup in and sieve that. And once you've done that, you can mix the flour into your already made mixture. This part was quite difficult because it's not a very watery mixture, so it takes a bit of elbow grease, I'm afraid. Okay, once you've done that, you can add your chocolate chips. I used about half a cup. Um, chocolate chips are optional, it just gives it a nice chocolatey flavour. Okay, so ensure that the watery, floury, gooey mixture is all cooled down. Um, it has to be really cool, and then you can place it into the mixing bowl and you can start mixing it all together. This did take quite a while to make sure it was all mixed in properly. Okay, so here's your finished mixture. Make sure it's not too watery and it doesn't drip off the spoon. And then go ahead and place it onto the baking tray that we prepared earlier. Make sure it's spread evenly across the baking tray. Okay, so now it's all done and you can place it into the oven and leave it to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure so as you could see from the brownie video, which I hope you enjoyed, um, the ingredients are pretty much the same. Uh, chocolate chips make it taste absolutely amazing and I'm pretty pleased with the end result to be honest and you can always put some vegan ice cream with them which makes them really nice so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and like subscribe if you want to I hope you guys liked it and try them yourselves they're brilliant I love them and yeah good luck happy brownie making and make sure you comment below if you liked it bye